Hey there, lovely people. How are you doing? Let's see. It looks like I'm rolling here. It's Michael Sweetwoodra from Dallas, Texas. How's everybody doing? I've only been trying to get back in here for two months. So, and I've got a lot to show you. I hope everybody's doing okay. I really appreciate all the the likes and the follows and the comments and reaching out to me and uh, checking on me. We're just, we just have a really busy life, chaos and um, drama, but you know, I think all families have that. We, we're still, um, our daddy died last summer in July, so we're still, you know, working on that estate. And today my sister, I guess we're keeping the house, and today my sister, they were knocking out walls. I guess we're remodeling. Uh, and um, and I helped my daughter put in a garden. She, um, we really, we put in a lot of perennials and Texas native plants, and that's fun. And they can take a few years to get established, but we were focusing on pollinator plants. And I think uh, we are right on the Monarch Trail. Um, what do they call it? I guess it's the Monarch Trail. Um, so we worked on that in, uh, I've been to Kerrville a few times and back. I'm gonna go to Florida next week to see my son and my, his wife and my grands. Um, and it's, I have to tell you a funny story. I've been trying to get back here for weeks and every day, like I would get my, get all organized, get the linen ironed and, get my stacks ready to roll and something would come up, you know, a storm would blow in and a tree would be down or, you know, electricity would be out. Um, just, it's just chaos anyway. And so today, well, I started it last week or earlier in the week, I was going to film and just work, you know, stuff came up. Well, today I was like, all right, Dad, I am going to film today. I'm going to film a floss tube and nothing's going to stop me. So this morning I got up early and um, I cleaned the house. I thought, you know, I want to get the house nice and tidy and get all, all the chores out of the way for the weekend. And um, I broke a glass, um, put it in the trash. We cleaned that up and didn't think anything of it until I was taking the trash out and uh, sliced my leg open. So we spent a few hours today in urgent care. I got six stitches. <laughs> it doesn't hurt, but I got a tetanus shot. But you know, here it is, it's four o'clock, June 8th, and I am so tired and I'm probably not in a very good mood. And I was like, no, no, I'm gonna do this. I'm doing this. I am going to film a floss tube because uh, there'll be something else tomorrow. And, uh, and then I'm flying out Tuesday to to Florida. So I wanted to check in with everybody and see how you're doing. Thank you again for the likes and the follows and the comments. And um, I try to respond to everyone and um, and people have checked on me. Thank you so much. I'm fine. We just have a lot going on. Uh, I, we're, I'm at the age where um, the kids are grown and I've got grands, but our parents are aging and um, well, one has passed away. But anyway, you know, it's it's not, the empty nester phase is not as quiet as I thought it would be. So everything's good. Um, it'll all work out. And um, I'm more blessed than I deserve, right? Um, let me show you, I've got a few, I even finished, I think three things this week. Let me show you. You know, it's so funny. I, I had this goal in um, May for Mania. I was gonna just do all oh, Blackbird. Um, do a lot of try to finish up starts and um, work on whips and I think I I monogamous, monogamously stitched on one thing I got it finished but I was like I wanted to do more but you know what it's okay let me show you what I've got done and um, let me go ahead I'll start here because yeah I'll start here yeah, I'll start here um, the heart remembers and I stitched just a second. Um, I guess I stitched the heart remembers, right? 
and uh, Andre and I started this on the same day, but it was so funny. It's just funny to me how when you see somebody working on something and you have it in your mind the way it's supposed to be, I think at our sampler group in um, Arlington, um, Stitch Niche, we meet on the last Sunday afternoon of every month. Anyway, so there was this woman there one time and she was stitching this and we fell in love with it. And I just remember her reds being a rich, um, just a really, it was rich, but it, it was a brighter red. And so I was a little, I, and I thought I'm going to do it with DMC. I'm not buying any floss. And I started it and I was like, yeah, I don't like it. It doesn't look like hers. Well, Andrea started hers with the called for and she didn't like hers. And it was just funny how neither one of us liked our own because it just didn't look like that, that woman's. Uh, but anyway, you know what? I, I was like, enough of this foolishness. Let's just get it done. And I did. And it, you know what? I turned it, I, oh, and I, I switched the DMC and I went ahead and got the call for because I was really hung up on that red. I wanted that red. And it still didn't look like I remembered it looking but I'm not unhappy with it. And I put my grandparents, um, George Woodruff and Dorothy Cedar, um, they married in 1944. And uh, this is, I'm pretty sure it's 36, 36 uh, milk and honey. But I, I really liked it on milk and honey. And I was glad to have my grandparents on something they were a really cute couple their whole lives. They were high school sweethearts. And um, Grandpa asked her for a kiss. And uh, she said, I'll give you a kiss if you come to church with me. <laughs> and the rest is history. Um, anyway, they were cute. And they loved each other very much till the very end. They were just hand-holding um, a cute couple. And so, let me show you, let me, oh, I was gonna tell you this too. Oops, where is the rest of it? Oh, here, this, this stormy night, it calls for stormy night. And mine was awfully gray. I, I wish maybe I had picked up a piece with more blue, but this is all I have left of stormy night. So I used a lot of stormy night, but, and this was, um, it called for, I think it was Carolina Cecil. Do y'all say Cecil or Cecil? I was really, I wanted that red to be a little bit redder, but it's all right. I'm not unhappy. And, um, but it just makes me laugh about how when you, you see somebody's work and you have it in your mind the way it's supposed to be and it doesn't look like hers. And um, I just pushed through because I didn't want to start over. And I'm glad I did. And so my grandparents have something now. Um, and so I, I was at my daughter's and I had, um, I think it's, is it Stitchy Witch 42? She, this year she's trying to stitch up 24 bats. So I'm playing along, but I, I don't think I'm gonna get 24, but I had this ready to go. All it called for was um, Bittersweet and Witching Hour. And I'm at my daughter's and I don't have I have that in the floss, but I didn't have any linen, so I just stuck it on the bottom there, and it turned out cute. And that's, you know, I think I've got two bat, three bats done now, but, and it has been more fun than I thought it was good. I mean, I've, obviously, I thought it was going to be fun to stitch 24 bats, but what's been fun about it is finding charts with bats and and then you realize, oh, that's been on my list forever. Let's just get that stitched up. And then and then I've done some quicker and easy things too. So, and oh, let me show you. This is um, Quirky Quaker, Jacqueline. You did this. Darling and Whimsy Designs. And I, it says $6 on Stitch Niche, but I don't, I don't know if I paid that much. But anyway, I, I've seen them on one, two, three stitch. Anyway, they're, they're not, they're very affordable and it only called for two, two, uh, flosses. So, uh, they're cute and fast. I think I, oh, I did that in one day. So, um, if you like one day things, 
go for that. And then I this is and then I stitched this. Oh yeah, stitch Stitchy Witch 42. If you want to play along. Stitchy Witch 42. 24 bats. Um and then I I did this one in one day too. I think I did this on Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday. And I got the floss to do this one. I don't have that. This is Queen Bee. I don't have any Queen Bee, but anyway, I got that done. Yeah, this is a little scrap from um, Extrude Designs. I got some fabric from her and she sent this scrap and I was like, I know exactly what I want to stitch on that. It was some, it was like basic gray or something. What was the name of that? And it's on 36, I'm sure. Yeah, that, that, that went fast. That was fun. Um, and I have the rest of the floss for um, the little monsters. Right there. Well, I guess, whatever. I don't know. They're not monsters. They're just Halloween costume somethings. So that one's cute. And I, you know, this that went so fast. I want to get some more of these square dance. That was really fast. I, I found some more. Of course, I, w I was trying to stitch bats but it didn't have to be bats but I was just really thrilled with how fast that square dance went um let me set this aside I'm trying to be organized okay this is since this is another little finish I think I got this um stash something um and I looked this up it's still available but it was so pretty. I really enjoyed using this peacock. It's a really pretty floss. Really pretty. It's not. It's a nice variegation um, of kind of different shades of aqua and turquoise. And this is just uh, scrap. I don't know. But isn't it cute? I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I guess maybe just a little pillow. But I really enjoyed that peacock. I want to use that again. Okay, I got that done. And am I going too fast? I want to. I want to go fast. I'm at 12 minutes. I don't. I don't want a long video. Y'all are putting out the best content. I, I cannot keep up with everybody. Every and every video is just wonderful. You guys do a great job, and I. I'm so proud of you. You know, it's not easy, and um, it just means a lot to me that every you guys push through and put out good content and and you just share so much with us this was another um not second hand um it was just old and i got it off a table i think it came out in um 2010 and it had leftover i guess somebody had already stitched it so she and all the leftover floss was stuck in there and so what i did was um i used up what was left but i also kind of just use whatever I left over thread of my own too. And so I kind of just semi made it up as I went along and that was okay. It turned out real pretty. And um, this was, it's called a make do from Shakespeare's peddler, Teresa. Um, anyway, what I did, this is some of my mom's linen, you know, when I was cleaning out her china hutch and she was saying, get rid of it, just toss it. And I said, no, we will not be tossing linen. So, and what's, it's uneven. So, um, I mean, it was already a long rectangle, but it came out longer, but that's okay. I liked it. And a button's going to go there. But yeah, this is some of my mom's. I don't know what she used this for. But see how it's like kind of got bleached or faded or something and that's okay i don't care um but yeah i just i just i just was trying to get through a lot of smalls that would be easy to get out uh you know move, move out quickly because i you know i want my little piles depleted i i don't want to keep buying until i finished up some stuff you know that never stops us but you know that's the idea um, I don't know if you can still get this. I mean, I would guess you could. Um, let's see. Okay. And so what, I, and another thing that I did was, um, I almost finished April. I got these stockings, these blackbird stockings. I've got March 
March done. And you know, these are so pretty. I mean, they look pretty, but then when you stitch them, you're just like, oh, that's prettier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I just love it. And I can't wait to get them finished. And I got April done. Can you see? I really like this one. And you know, they all went, they go pretty fast. When you have this fill in, that'll slow you down. That sweet pea. But these, these others, they, they went real fast. And so now, and I didn't quite finish April. I'm here at the umbrella. And what I'm doing different here, you know what I did? So on this, this sweet pea here, you could, can you see the, like the lines? I decided, you know, I don't want lines in my flowers. <laughs> I mean, unless it's supposed to be there, like a striped rose. But so, you know what I was trying to do here on this umbrella was I was just trying to go, you know, kind of up and down so that the variegation would be kind of up and down like the shape of the umbrella instead of across like that but I'm almost done now that's a lot of fill in but and I think this is Luna um yes lakeside 32 count uh, linen Luna And it's awfully, it's kind of yellow, but I think I'm okay with that. You know, it's just kind of a beige. And I'm using a big piece of it. I don't know if I can fit, I hope I can fit them all here. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, cause like if I ran out, it's not gonna be easy to find more Lakeside Luna, but I think it'll work. But yeah, I wanna get April done and well, we're in June now. So hopefully I can get finish April and start May and June. We'll see. But I've got something else going right now. I can't wait to show you. So there I got I've got not fully finished, but at least five of them done. Um let's see. I think I got I did um I did get up May. I've got May. Yeah, I've got May ready to go. Let me see. This one should be fast. This one, when it when there's that fill in like that, that that slows you down. But that's okay. I am, I'm ready to go. I've got them, got them in this bag here. Got all the flosses. But yeah, I I think maybe in my other video I I shared how I really kind of don't want to kid up a whole lot more until I finish some things because I want this floss out. I want it back in the stash so that I can find it and it's available when I need it and I don't have to go digging through whips. Um, not all that's whips. Some of those are kitted up projects. Uh, let me keep this together. Um, let's see. Now, I'm a little disappointed. I wanted to get more done on this, but I did get a lot done. Let me show you. This is um, Sarah, Sarah Pod. Oh, it's a working copy. I'm really hard on patterns and books, charts, I, and I every time I don't make a working copy, I'm very upset with myself, so. Um, Sarah Pod. I sampler's not forgotten. Um, so I I got a lot of the tall I think I worked I worked on this during the eclipse down in Carville. I got a lot done. I wanna get more done. These flowers, each flower I counted has two hundred and forty stitches. So it's it's slow. But okay, so I I got most of the parrot done. I've got both of the little acorns in the corner. I did have a goal 
I think I probably lasted a week where I was gonna, that was gonna be my morning stitch to, to stitch a yellow flower or at least, you know, a fourth of it, you know, but I, I did get a lot done, but there is a long way to go. I really wanna finish it. Uh, my mother, I wanna stitch this for my mom. She, her favorite color is yellow. And she's 76, so you know, I don't really have time to make this a five-year whip. <laughs> I wanna, you know, Lord willing, uh, she'll be around for a long time. But I, you know, I just wanna hurry and get this done for her. But I did work on this. Got that bird. Let me show you the chart. I think, I guess it's the border that's gonna take the longest because this, I got one tree and one deer done. And that didn't take too long. I got a parrot and the, the acorns. That didn't take long, so. The house, you know, that's just a house, but it's those flowers. So, and I don't wanna put it away. I don't wanna stick it on the shelf. It is staying with me. If I work on it or not, at least it's not buried. At least it's out front, uh, you know, where I can see it. So that's coming along. I was gonna tell you, I, I um, this is a X2 Design Grandma Slip. And, I'm, and this chart calls for a lot of Gloriana. And this is 40 count Gloriana. And I feel like it's my all time most favorite combination. I wanna kit up more things with um, 40 count and Gloriana because I it's there's just something about the stitch it is really it's just smooth and pretty and it just feels good I I can't explain Gloriana and 40 count <laughs> it, it's just a good they're a cute couple and um I I really enjoy that um let's see what else I've got I just kind of have I've got this large basket and I keep all the, well, I keep my whips in it, but also any little smalls that I want to keep in the forefront of my mind. Um, I like yellow polka dots. Um, and so I'll put, a, this is one that I didn't, I didn't do. So I started this and that actually doesn't go terribly slow. I mean, it, it goes okay. You know, if you can just get that red, Santa suit done, but I would really like to finish it, and I wish I had it in me to stitch multiples of each one so that each grandkid could have their own stash of Santa. And I'm stitching this on um, 36 count mink, and I love that too. This is just a scrap. I, I guess I could have planned it where they all um, are on the same fabric, but I tend to overthink and I'm trying to, to swing it more, you know? Let, let go, just, just be happy with the scrap. And I also kind of like the scrappy look when things are different sizes, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep this one out too. I really, I wanna finish that. That would not take too long. I guess actually it's the finishing, finishing, finishing that takes so long. I Maybe I'll make a video. I've got a big stack of unfinished things that are not fully finished. And I would love to have them complete. Um, I'll show you. I, I kept, I've been keeping up with my book a little. I was doing really, where did I stick it? Let's see, it's, you can tell, I'll show you where I burned out. And I'll show you what burned me out. Uh, you can see April is looking weak, end of April. And then May was looking weak. <laughs> and really I do, I stitch every single day of my life for years and years. If I'm not cross stitching, I'm quilting or sewing. So for me to burn out, that's kind of a big deal. But what happened was, and it's nothing personal. It's, it's a fun chart and I'm not, I'm not unhappy and I'm not gonna quit. But, um, let me see. This, y'all, I, I have, I cannot see. I 
I, I feel like I squint in the camera a lot. Let me see. Oh. Um, this one. And plus, I'm changing everything to be like my tiny little hometown of Ingram, Texas, right? So I think that's what slows me down. I overthink and it, it's a struggle because I do it manually with pencil and graph paper. I wish that I had like a program or something, but um, anyway. So I got grandma, grandma's and I got uh, TJ Moore Lumberyard in. And then so I put here Ingram Grocery. I just made the chickens the grocery one. But I, there, see, it's almost um, confetti. And then just re, when you rechart something, I'm just real meticulous. Oh, that's not centered. I'm ripping that out. Oh. And here I put in the date when the grocery was founded, 1947. And I was so burned out right there. I just eyeballed it. I didn't even chart it. I just put it in there and I'm like, I don't ever want to see you again. I was so, I mean, I literally was probably late at night and I'm tired. I'm like a whiny little kid at night. But I mean, I really remember crying. Like I was in tears and I, and I think I kind of burned out. So I put it away. But we'll get back. I'm I, I've, I'll shake it off and rub some dirt in it. <laughs> Everything will be fine. I just I was just exhausted with all the confetti and the recharting. But Ingram Grocery, um, is just the little grocery store in my tiny little hometown in a, a 1947. It's older than my mother. Anyway, when we were kids, well, it's just the town grocery. It's a tiny little town. You, we used to have to drive into Kerrville to go get our groceries. So Ingram Grocery was a big deal when you didn't want to drive into town for milk or bread. And I remember being um, a little kid and we would pull our wagons to the store and get mom's groceries. And back then they had charge accounts, you know, and every month we would get our bill. And... Um, and I just remember too going to Ingram Grocery. There's something about high school football in Texas. They had let us out of school early, and all the kids would be running around town. And we had our pep rallies at TJ Moore in the parking lot. But we'd be running around town, and we'd have a pocket full of change, and we'd go to the grocery store or the stop and shop for candy because you need candy for the bus ride or for that night's game. Um, yeah, so bless my heart, I burned out. Oh, I, there's gotta be an easier way to change a chart. I'm sure there is, but you know, I have to overthink it and make myself miserable. <sighs> but all will be well. Oh, here, this is something that I've worked on. See, you know, I just had a lot of charts in my stash and I'm like, oh, well that has a bat on it. I don't count. So I pulled this out, kind of kitted it up, and I got started. Um, I got some of it done. It's going pretty fast. Let's see, what do I have left? Well, I've got a lot left. Somebody's about to walk in. Hey! I'm in here. Yeah. Uh, I I'm videoing, but go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that'll make my leg better. That's true love right there. In the bathroom. And banded. Thank you. It's all right. Okay, baby, we'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah, so he went on a chainsaw blade run. Um, well, if you're from Texas or Dallas especially, or the North Texas area, probably Oklahoma. Wow, there's there's been bad weather everywhere. Anyway, we've got three trees down in our yard and everyone's sold out of chainsaw blades like and we can't even find a chainsaw blade sharpener like 
I guess we're just gonna go out there with him. <sighs> anyway, it'll all work out. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna tell you about this um, Grog. I'm stitching it on Grog. Isn't Grog a great name for kind of, um, let me hold this out. It's Grog Be Stitch Me. Can you see? I like it. It's a nice, neutral bisque. I, I like it. I'm gonna, I'll, it's a it's a keeper. It's something I would buy again. You know, sometimes um, Lennon, I don't mean this in a cruel way, because everybody's unique and has wonderful Lennon, and we all have our favorites. But you know, sometimes, it, you know, I don't even want to say it. It can just all look the same, and that's not true. That's not what I'm meaning. What am I trying to say? I probably ought to drop it before I put my foot in my mouth, but just sometimes something will stand out and it's your, you know, you could see yourself buying it twice. <laughs> I really hope that came out the way it was intended because not all fabric is the same. We know that, but yeah, boo. Oh, and here, see, like I was trying, I didn't want my lines to go, the variegation to go that way. I wanted it to go up and down like a flag wrinkles. And um, anyway, I've had a really good time with the bats. And um, I think that's such a clever way to really maybe use up your stash, you know, pick a theme and then run with it. Say like black cats. And then you just dig through your stash and you find all the patterns with a cat or a black cat. And then you're like, you know, you have been on my list for 10 years. Why have I not stitched you? And so then it kind of moves into your pile. And it has been a really fun way to actually get some things done and kind of get some of the, the charts moving. You know, I, I know we collect it stuff because we love it. But also, I mean, I want to stitch. I own it because I like it. Um, I guess that's all I want to show you with that. Um, let's see, where, let me show you. Let's see, I'm, try, I'm organized, look at me go. Okay. Let's see, I'll show you one other start. I'm really excited. You know, I, I do not like new starts. I, I gotta open that door, the cat's gonna terrorize us. Come on, you can come in. Okay, sorry about that. So I, I think I overthink and I have a lot of anxiety when I have a new start. You know, there's, there's so much joy in getting something up, buying it and just getting ready. You can't wait to dive in and you set this uh, certain date aside and you're gonna start and woo, we're all, you know, it's gonna be fun. And everybody's gonna be happy and we're gonna love this. I don't, it doesn't go that way for me. I will start something and I'm like, oh, I hate it. No, I don't like the way this is looking. This isn't the way I envisioned it. I, w I thought it was gonna be different. And you just pick it apart and you make yourself miserable. Yeah, I'm trying to be better about that and just get off my own back. You know, just be happy. What? Why you have to be so dramatic, Michael? Um, and so, I. this is something that I've, you know what? Let me get this out. This is something I've had kitted up for a while. I bought, a, um, and I know Andrea from Pugs and Stitches, she's had to get it up forever. I think, did she say 10 years? I can't remember. But um, I'm about to lose my train of thought. Let me get there. Um, this, Days of Advent. So, let me back up a little bit. Um, I guess Daddy died last year and Mama's getting older. And, well, I'm not getting any younger and so I guess the last year without being dark you know I started thinking you know I've got all and and um somebody said to was it oh just a second she was talking about if you've got to kid it up just start it what what are you doing um is it Salt Fox Stitcher who said that? I, I think in another person's 
said it too. But anyway, I want to give the person credit. But somebody said, um, if you've got it, get it up, just start it. And so after daddy died, I'm like, you know, yeah. So this year, it's kind of been the year of um, bucket list starts. I've got a few more to go. But I thought, you know, at least let's just get it started. And let's, let's carry on. Let's get a move on it, you know. Time is a-wasting. Um, so look, look what I started. And um, so I did start it last Sunday with um, Andrea at our little Stitch Niche uh, Sampler Club, which is open. If you guys live in North Texas and you want to stitch, and you don't have to stitch samplers, but we're sampler lovers there, but you can come if you don't stitch samplers. I, and I didn't like it, and I was starting to get pouty. And I kind of threw a little temper tantrum. And look, I pulled myself together. And it's going. Oh, and the other thing too, I guess there's option to do four. And then what, six down. And I decided I'm going five. Five across. So that's what I had to rethink was, wait a minute, if I'm doing five, What's the fifth block? Oh, it's Jacob. So this is going pretty fast. This is, let's see, well, I started last Sunday, threw a temper tantrum, picked it back up, stay Saturday. So I picked it up Thursday. And look, this is from Thursday night. Um, and it's not going too terribly slowly. And I, I'm actually really enjoying it because I think often with our samplers, we're just doing um, a vase or flowers or parrots birds you know all that's wonderful we love that but um it's kind of fun to stitch a scene I'm kind of I really like it and um I haven't cut my fabric yet you know me but I wanted to see before I cut it I wanted to see how I would like it this is 40 count just a second it's I think it's just regular average boring fabric I think it was platinum just a second. I know it's in here somewhere. Yeah. 40 count platinum. And I got a yard of it. So I'm, I'm gonna be responsible. Cut my fabric. I'm gonna get Andre to help me with the math. Because I kind of wig out a little bit. I had a little long, long dog sampler trauma. Where I stitched the whole top. And I was like short. And I... That was pretty epically life-changing when you do that so now I have like I kind of have little mini meltdowns when I have to cut my fabric and I know I know there's charts you can go you know you can go calculate it but it still gives me anxiety it's kind of like a little OCD when I I'll just recheck it and double check it and recheck it and double check it and I'm never feeling safe or comfortable I'm just gonna have to get over that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work through that, that dark time in my life. Um, let's see, I, I'll show you what I've got going. I've kitted up a few things, um, but this was another little uh, bat that I found. And I've got that kitted up, I'm gonna start that. I think this is, um, we're just going to do it on 30 count, 32 count Irish cream, which is pretty yummy fabric. Just a scrap. But I really like these um, doodles. I like, I like her quick little things. Look at that. See, I told you I'm hard on stuff. But I'm excited. I got this. And you know what? You know how I feel about orange. I've had a good year with orange. We're, we're getting along. We've made up. I think we're finally friends. Oh my gosh. Son of a gun. Sorry. There you go. But yeah, we, I've got, got this ready to go. Oops. Maybe I'll start it this week, but I like how fast they've gone. 
family gold. I really like Snowball. You know how whites are hard? They, whites are just a challenge. A snowball always really worked well for me. It will show up. Finley Gold and this orange clockwork is pretty fun. Hibiscus and guacamole. So hopefully, maybe, I don't know if that's a one day pattern like our chart, like the others, or, um, but maybe a two day chart. Um, let's see. I got that. I want to show you something that, um, I went to, um, two weeks ago. I went to Finn Smith's wife, right? Finn Smith's wife. And, um, I'm at the checkout counter. I got a bunch of linen. That was fun. Um... But I didn't go there for this. But Wendy was, I said, well, what are you working on? And she said, she's working on this. And I really liked it. My daughter-in-law, she's, um, has, me you know, Mexican heritage in her. Um, so I, and she really loves my cross stitch. So I want to honor that and do things for her. Um, okay. So I liked this well enough. I thought, oh, that's beautiful I love it and I'm at the counter checking out and um, a, um someone walks up with these the flower threads and I was like you know I think that would be really pretty in flower threads because then it would look tapestry-ish uh so I got I got the flower threads for it I got this but now I've got to figure out the linen what do you think if I'm like going for a tapestry type look what do you think let me know what 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 um I want it to look antique -y and tapestry ish my dog's dreaming anyway I can't decide I, I guess I need to just do a, a toss and see but let me know what you think if you have any good ideas because I want it to look antique and tapestry-ish but um you know not not too dark because I think it should be happy I'll give it some thought now and then I'm gonna be really careful and not show you the chart okay so Andrea she has a birthday she wanted to stitch this for her birthday start. Son of a gun. Um, so I was like, okay, buddy, you're my bestie. I'll stitch it with you. How much I pay for that? 12? I got this at 10 Smith's wife. But um, Sarah Williams, Holy Head Antique Sampler Reproduction. But she, I think this is Welsh and she loves Welsh samplers. Am I right? I think. So... I got this and I thought, you know, she's, she's a bestie. So bestie deserves silk. So I got MPIs to go with it. I really love MPI and I try to just be content with overdyed and DMC, right? But sometimes you just want to go big or go home. And I do love MPI very much so what do you think about this too I haven't picked out um, fabric for this yet I wish you could see how pretty things are on, a, on an iPhone but what do you think what would be good for this maybe like dirty teacup let me know let me know <clears throat> tell me what to do I need a boss um, and I did, I just mentioned my daughter-in-law, Mariah. I love her. She wants to learn to cross stitch. Do you have any good ideas for, wow, it's hot. It is Texas, y'all. Um, y'all have any good ideas for beginner charts or, cause, um, she asked me to teach her and I'm like, mm, 
<laughs> yeah, I'll teach you. Um, but um, I made my daughter one of these, just not not the big one, but a small one. And so Mariah wants her own, so I'm like, oh, okay, I'll love you, I'll do it. Um, so I got that kitted up. Um, oh, and the fabrics are kind of, they're almost like, kind of look June-ish, like berry, garden, raspberry. Um, so I got that kitted up. I'm gonna start that for her. Maybe I'll make it her birthday start. Um, and I'm just gonna use a scrap, I guess. I think I, I don't even know what this is. If you recognize it, tell me. Anyway, I'm just gonna, and I think it's 32. I was, that's the thing too. Like I wanted the, um, the samplers to match and I don't know what, for my daughters, I don't know what, um, count I stitched it on so I kind of thought well just to be safe I'll go bigger I think this is probably 30 or 32 I usually like 36 or 40 I like I like 40 but I'm I'm happy on 36 too um let's see oh and I if you want to do the bat thing or not um if you just like Halloween I've noticed I have found the best charts from um, Lucy Bean. And see, there's a bat. But I, I've got I've got a basket over there ready to go, a bunch of kitted up bat things. And I have multiple um, Lucy Bean. Anyway, isn't it cute? Oh, and this called for Fallen Leaves from Exude Designs. And I ordered some all the way from Hungary. It smells good. But isn't it pretty? It's like green, mottled, but still real earthy. But I love this. This is another one I, I wouldn't mind owning more. You know, sometimes you just get one piece and you're like, yeah, I'm happy. I don't need any more. I love it, but I don't need more. But this, yeah. This is kind of yummy. But yeah, that's fallen leaves. Um, I got, and I've got that kitted. I've, I've got that one ready to go. And this, I, this corn husk is a really pretty color. It's almost like a chartreuse yellow, gold, green, some, I like corn husk. It's pretty. And then the rest are just kind of average, you know, like current. And then I get the chance to use some purple. There, you know, not a lot of charts call for purple. What is this one? Purple iris, clover, driftwood, oatmeal. Okay, y'all don't need to know all this. It's almost like oversharing. Like really, okay, it, it's just floss. But I'm ready to go, I got that kitted up. And um, I think you will have a Halloween bag. All right, that one's ready. So um, I got that one ready. But again, I, I mean, I show you these things and, I, and I'm just, and I've always got to back pedal a little bit and just keep promising myself, y'all hold me accountable, I don't want to, I don't want to kit too much, and I don't want to start too much. I'm really devoted to some of these bigger uh, whips that um, that I've had for a long time. I want to get stuff done. I, I mean, I'm not joking. I'm serious. <laughs> um, I do. I guess I'm a process stitcher, but also, you know, I like framing things. I want it on the wall. Um, Oh, and this is funny. This cracked me up. You know, you you have your list when you go to the <sighs> st stitch store, and I'm like, I am not buying anything else. I'm sticking to my list. Well, when I was looking for this one, when I was looking for Sarah Williams, holy head, I ran across this, and I'm like, well, yeah, you got to come home with me too. Um. 
whenever I take my walks abroad, but I like that butterfly and I like the colors. And it doesn't look too beastly. You know, it doesn't look like one of those baps. It just looks like um, a smaller project. Anyway, it's beautiful. I love it. Okay, I got that. And then, of course, um, I don't, I didn't, I didn't have these. So I got this. And I didn't have this one, and that one's sweet. That doesn't look like it would take very long. Um, anyway, I'm excited. I, You know, I always get excited when I add Blackbird to this stash. Um, but I wanted to show you, when we go home to Kerrville, um, my, we like to go thrifting, and we live in a small house. I don't need anything but I kind of have a thing for junk or just odd weird things or just it doesn't have to be weird I, I mean I just like thrifting um, and I don't need this but it had 1977 on it and I'm like why not but you know what, this might be um, good to start Mariah. She wanted to learn and I'm like, you know, that's kind of beginner. So do you have any good ideas for beginner patterns? But it's, you know, got the Ada and the Floss. I don't know what I'll do with that, but, um, but you know, um, I like thrifting and I always go through the, I go through the linen section because you can find a lot of good antique or just vintage sheets or quilts or things like that and then or sometimes you can find old aprons it's just a good source for old fabric like these kinds of things you know old fabric I go to the linen section and then I go to the um the um kind of the nightgown section because vintage slips are a good source of lace and sometimes you'll find you know house coats or robes with uh, old anyway that's and I go to the craft section and find because you can find um stuff like this but also blocks you know that people have passed on um you know nobody in their family quilts and they don't want them so I'll take your uh quilt blocks but isn't that cute I mean it's there's nothing special about it but I was like you know you can finish that why not and it was only a dollar and I think it I think she I think for a dollar to, it would have a good life with me or maybe a friend or you know a dollar okay come home um and I got some of these little oval I think oval I think I paid a dollar for that oval I got two of them um I got some books it kind of looks needlepoint but that's okay who cares um these are old, um, old, like I'm not old, 1975, this one's 1975 too, but sometimes when you're just stitch in and you need an alphabet or you want to sign your name to a project and you want some kind of cool font, I just, I love having these alphabet books on hand and, um, I don't know, I don't see myself, I could, I'm not, against them but you know I love owls we have owls in our backyard and we live in the city of Dallas like we're about eight minutes from downtown and it's just it's a really beautiful thing when you're in the city and there's wildlife but we live on a creek and there's um they're called barred owls who cooks for who um they're out there anyway I love owls and I just thought these books were pretty well, son of a gun, and there's it. That one's just straight on the back. All right, sorry about that, y'all. But this kind of creeped me out. Look at this. Isn't this funny? It's like got a dead mouse in its mouth. What? What in the ever loving? Like, I'm gonna stitch a dead mouse, but also it was kind of funny, creepy funny. But 
I don't know. I don't know if I would do these, but I still wanted them. They were like probably 50 cents. Why not? If I don't want them, I'll put it in the box to go to the stitch group. Somebody else will want them. Now, this made me so happy. And I actually really see myself stitching this. Preserving stitch stitches. But anyway, hi, baby. Um, one of my hobbies is like canning in the summer. I love to make jelly and I make more jelly than we can ever eat. And then I give it as gifts throughout the year. Um, but look at that. This recipe called copper pennies. My aunt, my aunt, I called her Aunt Nini. Her name was Edith, but I couldn't say Edith when I was little. So she was Aunt Nini. She used to make copper pennies for every family gathering. And it's really delicious good and I love pickled beets that's not pickled beets re recipe but and spiced peaches is that a southern thing because I love oh it's one of my favorite things to eat is spiced peaches and you really can't find it anymore and last year I got a big case of peaches and I made myself some spiced peaches and I made myself some pickled peaches and I think everybody would think that's gross but I love it it's from my childhood. Anyway, I'm going to stitch this for aunt, for Nanini. I miss her so much. She was like the, the joyful, fun aunt. Like I, I think I was probably three or four. Three or four. And she taught me how to stand on my head. Like you use a wall. You put a pillow up against the wall. And you, and I can just remember my Nanini standing on her head in the hallway. I can picture that room. Um, she's in the hallway trying to teach me how to stand on my head. Anyway, I have good memories of um, copper pennies. And I got this Christmas book. I should have marked marked it what I wanted to stitch, but, um, cause there's actually, you know, even though it's dated, this the things have aged well. Like that's just kind of like a folk art-ish design. What that looks like to me is like a Baltimore, oh, what's that quote? Baltimore quote? Oh, I wish words would come to me. I and I'm, when I I think one of the reasons why I have anxiety when I film these is because I cannot edit. Like if I put my foot in my mouth, or if words aren't coming and they look like a dork, I can't I can't edit that out. Or like when I sh actually showed the chart, how, I mean it's just gonna have to go. I I can't. Um, oh, this look at that. See. To me, that looks like a Baltimore album. And it's just pretty. But I wanted to show you, um, let me get there. It was a Santa and Mrs. Claus. Um, of course, I'm not gonna, oh, there it is, there. Isn't that cute? You know, that looks like made by, made by Michelle McGraw. She would totally stitch that. Anyway. You know, I try to be careful with these because some of them are dated and I'm like, mm, I don't need that. But this one had a bunch of cute things that aged well in it. Better Homes and Gardens, A Merry Christmas in Cross Stitch. Let me see if it's got a year in it. It's by Mimi Sh Shimon, in case you want it. Um, 1994, it's not that old. 30, 30 years? No. Is it really 30 years? Oh my gosh. Where does time go? Oh, no, I don't need this. I could see myself stitching it, but I love these old things. And it says here, this was like 1960. I saw the date on it. I want to say 68 or 67. Doggone it, don't you know? I hate that when you can't. I saw the date. It said 67 or 68. But that's where I saw the date, right there. I could totally see myself doing this. I love these old projects. I love them. I'll do that. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Um, let's see, why are you in here? I don't know why I've grabbed this. I think I've, I might've grabbed it. Sometimes 
if you, if you don't like the pattern, you can cut it off and use the, the Ada. I don't know why I grabbed that. Ooh, probably because I like the little ducklings. I bet that's from the 80s. Teddy bears and ducks. Late 80s, early 90s. All right. Enough of that. Okay, but this was cute. This is a dollar. She's cute. We can finish that. Oh, I wonder if she would fit in that. Yeah. Well, it would need to hang like that, so... Anyway, she's cute for a dollar, don't you think? Um, let's see. Now this, this is what I'm talking about. You know, people, um, or just unfinished projects. They don't want it anymore. They just toss it. But look at this. This is completed. And you know I love owls. It's a little scissor. Keep. And this is needlepoint. And it paid two dollars. Put in it, darling. I love it. Some thread. And it has felt with it. Anyway, I loved it. You can see my grandma having these on the couch while she's sitting there stitching. Um, let me see what else. I just hit my elbow. So, it's been the most painful day ever. It's so weird. I sliced my leg open. We're in urgent care for two hours. We're on the front porch. We get home. We're on the front porch. And I tell my husband, I say, I'm done with this day. I I am I am done. And I walk in the house. And we have an older house. You know, those little telephone nooks in the hall for old telephones. I walked right past that and banged my hand on it. Really. And I went and laid down and I'm just about in tears. But so, you know, that's, I think that's when you know you're tired. You probably have to stop moving. Just stand still, freeze. <laughs> Don't move. So muscle hurt. Um, but this is complete. Well, it says incomplete, but I don't believe it. But look at that. This is done. You just need to finish that. But my grandmother used to do these a lot. I can't remember. What do you call that? Um, it's not cross stitch. What was it? Cruel. Uh, grandma, I have a lot of cruel pieces from grandma. So, this is a dollar. I paid a dollar for that. And this, I don't think I'm going to keep it. I don't see myself doing that, but I love applique. But I got the whole set for five dollars. Why not? Hmm. I mean, maybe. Heart to hand. But it looks, it's very folkish. I liked it for five bucks. If I don't want it, I have friends, right? And I love, I got this for a dollar, but I love, um, Cinnamon. Cinnamon sticks Christmas. And I thought I liked that. Another stand up. Maybe. Maybe not. Like I said, if I don't do it, I've got friends, right? I think we have a responsibility to buy stuff up for each other. I mean, hey. if It needs to come home with me. Because somebody else might want it, right? And I liked this. I got this book. I don't think I've even looked through this. But there was a bunch of cute samplers. Easy stuff. Maybe I can find something in here that's easy to teach Mariah. Well, yeah. It's just samplers. This is easy stitching. I like it when, the, when things age well, you know. They, they still... No. Like, I think that's pretty. I don't know. I probably probably won't use it. But like I said, I have a box over here that I add 
stuff to it for our stitch group. Okay, so I think that's all, but I had one final thing to show you. Oh, let me show you. Yeah, let me show you. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'll probably just hang it up, but I got this. I think I got it for $4. I couldn't leave it there, but it's very dirty. I don't know. I'm probably going to think about it. I mean, I guess I could take it out and wash it and then reframe it. But, you know, it's a lot of work. I got more things to do than, you know, don't need to add to my list. But this was my favorite thing. And I, I'm probably going to... So somebody made... Like a scrap crochet bag. But they attached... Is this Paddington? They just attached a needle point to it. But I want to take this off of this bag. And do something with him. And then on the back, there's another one. But I... You can't... I don't think it shows up as good as the other one. Let me see. Yeah, I like this one better. You can see it's actually a Paddington. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I do. I don't want to keep it as a bag. And I want the needlepoint off of there. <laughs> I'll do something with that. How do they have it? It looks like it's whip stitched on there. Yeah, that'll just come right off. See that? I wonder what I can do with them. What would you do with them? Would you just frame them? Or make them into little pillows? It looks like it's got about a half inch of seam around it. Anyway, so that was, that's my thrifting. Um, but I guess that's it. I did, I wanted to make this quick. Oh, I'm still at an hour and seven. I really envy the y'all that can do this in 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Um, anyway, so I thank you for being here and, um, I hope you'll leave a comment and talk to me. I'll, I'll answer and you can, I'm over on Instagram, uh, Sweet Woodruff's there as well. Um, and just leave questions or comments on the bottom. I'm sure I forgot something. And again, beg my pardon. I am really, s or beg your pardon for, um, for showing you that chart. That's awful. Um, but anyway, uh, take care and keep in touch with me on Instagram. I'm always on there. I don't always post, but I'm always on there. Um, and I will see you. Oh my goodness. I hope not another two months from now, but I'll see you soon. And I just pray that you'll be blessed and be a blessing to others and happy stitching. Bye-bye.